it's so funny because if we did have all those women, we'd be like, man, yesterday was a fucking movie. But then it's just dudes and we're like, you know, this is good for the soul. This is better. I'm going to be honest. Friendship is the best way to come. Guys, we're in Ibiza, and I'm on freaking tour. Blackle Bla- Blackle Blaustein. Blackle Blaustein. I'm hammered. Because you're trying to get rid. <laughs> August. Bike. August. <laughs> August I'll do the tour dates for him. Oxnard, go see him the 23rd to the 25th, August. Was that right? No. Fuck. Well, don't go those dates. <laughs> I'm dying. Do it! Oh, I'm doing it! Sick of it! Guys, August 10th to the 12th, I'll be in Indianapolis. That's this freaking weekend. Please... Go get tickets. Pull uh, up. August uh, 25th to 26th, Oxnard, California. September 7th to the 9th, I'll be in Madison, Wisconsin. Very excited about those uh, shows. September 15th to the 17th, I'll be in Irvine, California. September 20th to the 30th, guys. Listen, Denver, Colorado. I'm shooting my special the freaking September 30th. Go get tickets. Two shows. I'm only recording those two shows. And then 28th and 29th, I'm doing three shows. And those are little warm dates. So if you can't get tickets for the 30th, go to the other Denver dates. You can see the warm shows, the exact same show. So it's going to be very, very fun. So go get tickets before you cannot. Uh, October 5th to 7th, I'll be in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and guys, many, many more dates on my website. That is blogcomedy.com. Go get tickets and see more dates at blogcomedy.com. And if you want to watch us on mushrooms, uh, you can go to Patreon.com where we did mushrooms in Amsterdam. Patreon.com backslash Stiff Socks Pod. Such I don't good have episode. any tour dates to plug, so I'll plug your Patreon. But you have something very and exciting coming DMs. up. Yeah, I got a special coming out. Yeah. In the fall. Yeah. I haven't announced who it's with yet, but I will. You will. I'm excited. I, I'm freaking excited too. Hey. And I'm also sick, sick of it. it. <laughs> Bitch, we're in the island. Is this a, oh, it we, is an we island. We're an island boys. Whoa. We're the island boys. Let's make out. I'll do it. Guys, hey, welcome to the fucking Abiza. As, Abiza. They, as they say here, they go, Abiza. Abiza. Oh, I, I'm I, sorry. Dude, I don't mind as much as I thought. I thought I'd be like, what the fuck? It's kind of cool. Abiza. Yeah, because they, they say it quickly. They don't go, Abiza. Yeah, we really emphasize on this. Because I'm trying to get sucked off. Yeah, I'm trying to get throated. Everybody sounds like Mike Tyson out here. Keep I like in. it. Dude, remember that time he I beat went, my ass. Remember, oh my god, one punch disintegrate your entire face like fucking strudel. Yeah, dude. You like ever have strudel? Dandelion in the wind. Strudel. Yep. Toaster. Yep. Uh, Strassel. Strudel. Yeah, toaster strudel. What from is it? Pillsbury Doughboy. What was his whole deal? You poke he was it, a you freak. rub his tummy and you like touch his stomach and he's like hee hee hee. The hee hee he was coming. Illegal. That's how they make Illegal the crescent like, rolls. That's where the strudel is. Toaster strudel. Yep. You touch your stomach and it goes. <laughs> I icing. wish that was my semen. If that, if that, dude. If my semen tastes like that, boy, stop. I'd hook with every girl. I would have a hook line. With a girl. I would, I'd hook it with myself. Shoot it in the air. Hey, it's that, a chaser. Uh, that's true, dude. If you're fucking hungry on a goddamn plane, <laughs> I'm not anymore. No, I not. <laughs> no, I not. We're in a visa. I mean, here's the thing. What? This is the most out of my element I think I've ever felt. In yeah, a fun I, way. But it's like weird. Not in a like, fun way. Like, 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 here's the thing. Tell them. Why don't you tell them right now? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm sick of it. Sick of it. Go Dude. for it. Fire it off. All right. Here's the thing. You know, sometimes when you're a mildly good-looking person, you walk around. No, I don't. You know, okay. Yeah, you are. You're hot. Anyway. Thank you. So you know, you walk tell around. Tell that to the people of Biza. That's where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> Mother fuck shit. Ain't bitch. nobody looking at Zero. us. Zero. You walk through the mall sometimes in fucking Maryland, D.C., L.A. Some people look at you. Guess what? In a Ibiza. They Nobody. don't look for, dude, literally, I, I'll just speak for myself, not one woman in Ibiza looked at me, not even in my, not even for directions, not for the time, Yeah. nothing. It's because you're Zero. short. M- maybe, <laughs> it's, no, but maybe, the th- and I. No, dude, there's a lot of, it, here's what it is, it's not even about, it's just every guy out here who's pulling is bald and jacked. He looks like he does his own security. Right. He also is probably like just a Russian king security guard. Yeah, it's, I don't, dude, I don't think jokes work out here. Every one of us has like tried to r- riff bits with a waitress. Nothing. Somebody. I got nothing. laughing. I got, I, ha- that's also We've funny. We've been bombing all, all not weekend. Not a giggle. Not a giggle, not a gaggle. L- oh, can I get a burger? Say some joke. The guy looks at me. No, I not. And walks away. Gabe asked, a, what, Gabe ordered, what was like carrots and water? Gabe's vegan on this island, so I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, just order cocaine, like the real uh, people without appetites. But he ordered, and then he goes, uh, are you probably thinking I'm some AI robot for getting a water and carrots server? <laughs> okay. I, I mean, know. yo, a lot, ca- lot of Ks. Here's the thing. Dude. I will give everyone a pass because English, for the most part, is not the first language. We are in the wrong here. We, wrong. We're the we're outlier. Wrong. We're 100%. I, I, there's been, um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I, it, it, it's bizarre. You know what's bizarre? We were, we went from paying for a vagina to getting no vagina. Can <laughs> I pay for it on this fucking island? I don't give a heck. Do you take dick coin? God damn. Ethereum. Funny. Abiza. But I know what it is. I think it's just like we were coming from uh, Netherlands, the lands of Netherlands, and uh, people so friendly. Oh, Sif Sox podcast. Hey, come on now, right? Yeah. We land here. Ain't nobody looking at us. And not even Dude. on some egotistical, like, internet shit. It's just nobody even, like, like the fact that we're Americans, we're just like, get out. Dude, I had someone hand me their keys and say, get my car. Yeah. Huh? I feel like the guy at a kiosk at a mall. Yeah. Being like, I will, I will polish your iPhone. They're like, don't even look at me. Do those people make, if you crack your screen, do you go there or do you call Verizon like a human nah, being? well. Do you? I just like the names of the places. It's always like, youbreakifix.com. That sounds like a freaking prostitute in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, I don't know what it is. We're walking around. It's just like, uh... I, I, I will get on board with you that it's not on some ego stuff. It's not on some internet stuff. It's course. like, we kept saying over dinner, are we invisible? Yes. I feel invisible. Yeah. It's crazy. Let me tell you something. On the scale of uh, attractiveness in the world, not on the low end. Who, uh, me or you? Both of us. Hey, come on now. You know? And it's just insane that, like, I, I, what do I have to do? Do I just have to walk yeah, him well, over? Well, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I just it. want to know, um, uh, what is their perception of us? Like, do we walk in the room and they easily go, oh, yeah, these motherfuckers are from Dayton, Ohio. Like, do they yes. look at us and immediately go, like, Americans? Buddy, yes. Or, or, or what is it? What the, is the, the equivalent the to that? The answer is 100% yes. That? The answer is yes. Because do you know when people from another country, for uh, like, a, like a European country, right? They come into LA or New York, whatever, you know exactly that they're not from here. Like it's just be, the their style, the way they walk, the way they're like kind of looking around, the way they, yeah. they the way they don't speak English. You know what I mean? It's like we're and to echo what you said, we're in the wrong here. We're yeah. we're bombing, but we're bombing. We're, we're in the we're minority. Supposed to bomb. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think this is the, really just the first time I've been anywhere outside of uh, the U.S. that was uh, this foreign, I guess. But it doesn't feel foreign at all, really. No, no. Like it, like it feels like we are somewhere in New Orleans or like Miami. It just feels kind of like so for me. And I think it was just so weird that we got on a two-hour flight and out there, we I felt very like like I could just I could be fine on my own out here. And then I land out here, and I'm like, what the fuck? No, no Ubers. Dude, no Ubers. You and I move here. We open up an Uber. Juber. Trillionaires. A uh, billionaires. Trillionaires. No DoorDash. Huh? Here's the thing. You go on vacation to get away from all that, to experience something different. That is true. And that's that true. why I don't go on vacation. Well, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I do. Well, that's what, uh, now we just got to take it with that. Like, we're in their world. We are the visitors. Correct. It's a home court game for them. We are the away team. Yeah, and I, I will, I will say, I think we really leaned into it last night. I think we just got comfortable with it last night. Yeah. And here's the funny thing, dude. The moment we got comfortable, we got recognized. And you know what it was? What? This is when I realized that we weren't in U.S. anymore. Somebody goes, "I've seen you on YouTube Shorts." Really? Huh? What about YouTube Pants? I gotta go. Bits, bits. Dude, but, but that was like a running joke that we had the whole trip. We're just like nobody cares. We're alone. We fallen off. Nobody gives a shit. No. One. And then at like three thirty in the morning, later the club, it was like five. Three thirty, this guy comes up to me and he goes, "Wait a second. And we all look at each other. We're like, "Ah, ah losing ah. our minds." I will say we've put ourselves in like very like I mean we went to nightclubs and then we went out to just like restaurants. Like we, I I don't even fucking know. I think oh. I don't. I mean, also, everybody. For, is I don't think a lot of people from California or the states come to Ibiza. I think it's a lot of people more from Europe. Like we met a dude yesterday. He's like, yo, I'm here for 12 hours from Barcelona. <laughs> what, he, are you on the run? My man's first hours. of all, yes. What this, is this a shift? He, <laughs> clock in, clock out. He literally said, I used to take a bus here, and now I take a jet. Yeah. Hey, he nobody that. asked but you. Also, also, you took a bus here? It's an island. Oh, facts. Yeah, but he literally did say that. Like He was like, yeah, man. You know, it's crazy to be meeting you, man. You know, I used to take a bus here. No, I'd take a flight here. Cool. What do you do? Hey, man. Drugs? That was yes. a great caption that you stole from definitely a rapper. Love it. Love it. Keep going. He had a, actually a chain on that was kind of expensive. Yeah, everybody's iced out. I, yeah, but that's the thing. I think I think the move tonight, because we're going out tonight, hey, fucking Ibiza, we got a flight in fucking four hours. We're, we're going out. But I'm just going to ask a lady, how quickly did you know I was American? And how did you hate me? Do you like me? What what what, what do I do here? How Let's do I bridge do it. the gap? Ask me. I'm a woman from Bisa. Hey, did you know I'm from America? No. Walks away. She's playing hard to get. Hundred <laughs> percent.
I'm walking to on the dance floor. Hey, I will say this. Huh. We got on a boat yesterday. That was the most fun I've had in years. Mm. The island is fucking beautiful. Yeah. B E A. Beautiful. Oh, speaking of beautiful, and I don't want to get sidetracked. I want to keep talking about the boat because I had such a great time. I Boats will no I'll be title. the first person to say this is pound for pound. The most beautiful woman island. Great use of the word. Thank you. This is the most beautiful woman island I have ever been to in my life. And I went to Epstein's. There are so many. (laughs) There are. (laughs) There is. There are. Dude, it is incredible. The level. Unreal. It's. I, I. It. I'm not. This I'm is not like if Dan Bazarian created The Sims. It would be like this. Funny, say it again. God damn. But up, but up. This episode is sponsored by Freeze, Freeze Pipe. Pipe, dude. For the smoothest cannabis smoking experience, you gotta try Freeze Pipe. Okay, Freeze Pipe makes a unique line of freezable pipes, bubblers, and bongs that cool smoke by hundreds of degrees for icy smooth tokes without the throat burn, chest pain, or coughing attacks. I hate that. When I was in college, freaking <laughs> every girl was like, cool, you're a loser. Oh, yeah. Then you try to put an ice cube in the bong and the ice cube wouldn't fit or melt. This is the perfect mix because you don't have to blend any of that. You don't need any ice. It's already frozen. So what you do is you pop one of these babies in the freezer for an hour. One you hour, know? that's it. Dude, here's what you do. You smoke a little bit. You put it in there and then you want to go and hit it again. You take it out of the freezer. Boom. Double smoke, double stroke. All right. Instantly <laughs> chilled over 300 degrees. Proven to outperform traditional pipes. Bong. Simply inhale and relax the freeze pipes. Icy glycerin chambers. Do all the heavy lifting. Even if you're not smoking, dude, just fucking rip some air through that shit. It'll feel good. Hell yeah. I love it. So shop the smoothest pipes, bubblers, bongs, and dab rigs at everyday great prices by visiting thefreezepipe.com and use code SOCKS for 10% off your entire order. That's a lot of money. 10% off your entire order. That's thefreezepipe.com. Thefreezepipe.com. Promo code SOCKS for 10% off. God damn. Dude, was great this, dude it, like we went to a restaurant one night. First of all, we were sitting next to the DJ. I asked the DJ, here's what I, and I don't, I don't know. I, the guy, I was like, hey man, do you got any favorite bars after this? And he just goes, I don't know. Like, uh, do, do, do we just come off as annoying Americans or does he well, just not know what I'm saying? I, I think, I, I I'm said, a nice guy. I, I know, but I said this on a boat, man. I really, really do think it's just a, it's a massive language barrier, man. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. if it's, well, it's if also it, the DJ was blasting music. Correct, but like I just remember when I was a server man and I had like, um, like very nice like European uh, tables. They would try to ask me some stuff, and I wasn't trying to be mean, but I was just like, bro, I, I, I legit, yes, I true. legit don't know what you're saying, so I can't, I can't give you like an answer. Cause if you if you ask a more like nuanced question like hey man what's your what's your uh, favorite spot you go to they probably don't say spots they probably don't say go to like yeah, yeah, all that yeah. kind of stuff is like I, they don't I mean, know I'll say this a thousand times we're in the wrong here yep because in my head it doesn't because I think since we just went like it, it feels and and all the clubs it feels like some of these like fun places you go to in like Malibu or West Hollywood or yep. Miami like it still feels <laughs> so like it, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is if we went to Japan. Uh, you would you look at the, just how everything is built and like visually yep, you're like yep. I'm clearly in a different place so there's gonna be a barrier but here I just feel like I'm just hanging with the homies oh I understand what you're saying you know like I see yeah, the yeah. DJ and I'm like oh dude let's make connections I'm like okay if we don't know anybody let's make connections with the DJ I'm like hey what's up man uh, do you got a favorite bar after this huh uh, I literally thought I, didn't he just say no he 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 well he he made me repeat myself and then he goes I don't know and then went back to Word. mixing um. Pretty cool beat drop. I don't know. <laughs> I will say this though, and be- we're gonna get back to the boat, everyone. Don't don't worry. Um, I will say that I thought we went to a club last night, like a bum 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 club, <laughs> and I'm really not a big club guy. Period. I'm also not a big guy. Uh, EDM. Period. There you go. Fucking funny. Oh, I, I thought that's what you were gonna say. No, I no, no. I didn't mean to. Come no, no, no. Funny. Um. Uh, 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 and I'm also not like a, a big EDM guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really know anything about EDM. I, I thought easy I was to get gonna. On board. Was up? Pretty easy to get on board, dude. I it's walked the, in there and I thought I was gonna hate it. Holy fuck! It's probably the easiest uh, genre of music to get on board with. You walk into the club and you do this. You, oots, oots, what I, oots, the, oots. what I failed to miss about the whole uh, Great you know big club? Ex- yes, dude. Everyone is the energy in there. Everyone's on the same like wavelength. So you're like, yeah. oh, dude, well, I'm gonna get on board. This is awesome. It, the vibes are just positive because at a rap show, even a rock show, you know, it's like going good. Then they're like, open up the pit. You're like, I'm on so much fucking Molly right now. Please yeah. do not open up the pit. There's already a pit in my soul. Yeah, I'm in a bees on Molly. 
What am I, I'm Mike on... Posner? I took a pill in Ibiza. Gabe tried to buy Advil. They don't sell Advil Hill because people are boofing ibuprofen. One of, Anyways, do, do they sell had they, had you had to go to a ph- pharmaceutical? Oh, pharmacy. Yeah, what they told me was that you can only buy medicine at a pharmacy. All right, only buy medicine at a pharmacy. Yeah. That's so crazy that you have to go to pharmacy for Advil, but you take two steps and the guy's like, Molly? And you're like, well, that'll fix well, some headaches. Well, that, that's what was funny was like I walked out of the liquor store trying to find Advil, and I told you guys, I said, I just need Advil. They don't have any. And like five guys walked up and they were like, <laughs> but that also oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. But doesn't that also sound like a, like a catchphrase? Like, I just need Advil. And they're like, yes, we will bring you the Advil. What color Advil? Yellow Pokemon? I will say, we we did start having fun at the club when we started loosening it up and just fucking around. Yeah. we saw what other dudes were doing for game. You're just like loud and kind of like have fun. And then that kind of attracts the funniest thing. First of all, we go bite, we go boat or we go jack. Jack's been a character. Let's go Jack crushed last night. Let's go, uh, let's go boat first and then boat, and then and then jack, close with Jack. Jack's been crushing all trip. Crushing. But I don't know if he knows it. He does. You don't know it? No. Do you Jack, know what was the last thing you remember? Oh, fuck. Jack can't remember anything. Is you know, the C- CTE. Yep. All right. The boat was awesome. The boat was awesome. So I got hooked up from somebody who uh, I reached out to and was like, reach out to this girl. She does all the reservations on the island. It w- truly made things so much better. We got to go to like great restaurants and, and we, we still paid for this. It's not like we got hooked up, but we just got the local take on it, which is I prefer. Yep. Right? So we got on this boat and the boat, the engine the day before breaks down. So they go, hey, boat broke down, but we're going to upgrade you for free hey! hey so they send me a photo of the boat and i go there's no way and i get there beautiful massive bro boat. the boat was hotter than all the women on abisa i'm lying a abisa women are so hot the boat i felt so i felt so good on the boat i haven't been on a boat forever well, i think that's what it is it's like this vacation is a healthy balance of a few things work definitely because we're doing podcasts we're getting a bunch of content um also the walk around aspect of a city like amsterdam yeah kind of like going to shops and doing this but there wasn't a water aspect in amsterdam we were in the canals and so both canals we were in some of the canals we paid for them <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's life. <laughs> what type you of life? Wrong. Funny. So Sorry, this <laughs> trip was missing a body of water. And this body was thick as hell. The water <laughs> was so warm, so blue. So this guy is a man. Armando, he's taking us around the island. He's blasting music. He used to be a DJ. Of course. I think everybody, I think you just become a DJ. And then like one day you put up your headset and you're like, and boat captain. So then you're here. He's showing us around the island. He parks us out of his place. The most fun I had this entire trip was yesterday is jumping off the boat, swimming yeah. in the water and just yelling, hey, just a thousand times. Dude, we had no hose. Zero. Let me, t- can I explain to you how much no hose we had? The whole experience is so funny because again, no hose. We were on a nice boat. We, had, we, Trev and I were kicking it on a goddamn paddleboard, being cute as shit. We saw a boat. Like, Five times the size of our boat. Not as nice. It was like, I am the captain now boat, right? And there's the Somali pirates all in there. But there was like just a, a slew of women. All insanely hot. Yeah. Not like, oh, they were sort of hot. They were all super hot. And we were trying to talk to them, maybe get them on a boat. No, no one wanted... Nobody. Zero. I Yeah, I don't know. I I would love to get more of a uh, a poll here and just ask some of the locals back. Do y'all not fuck with Americans or is it just us two idiots? It might just be us two. We might be just be ugly. We might be European ugly. Does that make sense? Yeah. We might be America hot, European gross. That's what shoe sizes say. There's US and European sizes. Is that why the European sizes are bigger? I always say European sizes first. Smart. Make, yep. Yeah, I'm a so- 48. <laughs> So the boat was truly awesome. We got to do like a 3-6 around the island or maybe a 180. I'm not great with degrees. Um, so beautiful. The island, beautiful. I get why people come here. But it is something insane, the amount of, of hot women out here. Have we said that on this podcast there's been like maybe three hot dudes. We're none of them. Zero. Dude, the, I mean, unreal. Every, it, I mean, no. it's like, dude, the fucking, the, 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 the bus girl, dude, I'll bust somewhere. Say it. Again, <laughs> Here, no. You know Everybody what's crazy? Hot. This is this is where shit got crazy for me. We were standing, uh, we were waiting for uh fucking Gabe to get back from get trying to get pharmacias, and we we're si- and I looked, there was a woman selling hot dogs. Hot dogs. She was an eleven, and they had vapes there. Oh uh, yeah, hot dogs and vapes. Yeah. Most American store in the world. She and was bad. True. It's crazy gorgeous. What the I, hell? Unreal. There's not one woman looks like a puddle. Not one. She's beautiful. All dudes, Absolute. they either look like they've killed someone or they're a DJ. It looks like somebody just put creatine on a swimsuit uh, edition Sports Illustrated and then was like, grow now. 
Yeah, they, every chick, fine. God damn. Trev? Yes, sir. Don't you hate friggin' buying tickets? I hate it. It's so annoying, dude. Buying tickets to your favorite events shouldn't be stressful, dude. That's why we have, insert the burr, 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 game time. Okay, day, game time is the fastest and easiest way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theaters near you. Okay, with killer deals on last minute tickets and their best price guaranteed, you can stop stressing over the tickets and start getting hype for the fun you'll have. I'll say, I said it before and I'll say it again, dude. I was getting Laker tickets when they were in the playoffs. It was so freaking annoying and that's why I was so happy that we had game time as a sponsor because the interface is incredible. It was so easy. You could like see where the seats they were. Images of the seat but view. Genius. So All these boomer ass, old ass websites don't show you. This is the POV. And I ain't talking the one Jack watches. <laughs> I also like game time because like there's most of the time if I'm going to an event, I'm deciding I'm going to go that day. So it's yes, like, oh, I don't right. want to go buy month tickets months in advance here. You get like really cheap deals because it's last minute and you get access to super good tickets. So forget planning months in advance. Game time uh, has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. Exactly what Gabe was saying. Okay, you get images of seats, as I said before. So download the game time app, create an account and use code SOCK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again. Create an account and redeem code socks for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices, guaranteed. God damn. Here's the thing: the dudes around here they scare me, bro, because yes. they're all like Eastern That's European, and they go, "I'd kill you now." That's awful accent, but just bear with me. They lo all look like you know who they all look like? Dana White. Yeah. They all look like an Eastern European jacked. Dana White. Everybody's jacked. So it's Buddy, like the, I try to get through. I try to walk, sorry to cut you off. I try to walk through the club. You know, it was the club was packed last night, like oh, sardine yeah. packed. Yeah, I was yeah, trying yeah. to. I was leading the way, trying to get through. There's yeah, certain yeah, dudes no. I was like, can't. Oh, yeah, dude, you these men are you huge. just find a stall in the bathroom and vibe out in there. Are you doing coke in there? No, just waiting for some space. Dude, we finally got some space in the way, way back. I've never That's been great. I've never been so happy about having two feet in front of me in my life. Yeah, I mean, that is one thing that's just cool about it. It's uh it's everybody's on the same page. Thus everybody is just sweaty as hell. Yeah. So many people are tweaked out. Dude, it's so funny. They're like, oh, pick the ones who are on a massive amount of drugs. Let me guess. The the ones in sunglasses? Yeah. Sunglasses, that's what we're missing. Sunglasses in a nightclub. Well, and they were all, it. I was trying to figure out outside, um, there was people selling like those fans, like the fans, fan out yeah, fans. Oh, I was yeah, like, yeah, what are yeah. those for? And then we get inside the club. Everyone that had sunglasses on also had a fan. Just yeah. grinding their teeth, fanning oh, themselves. Word. That's the universal sign for I'm rolling my dick off. Yeah. No light shows, though. No light shows. None of the finger gloves. Yeah. God well, hold on. Damn, what do you mean, no light shows? Wasn't the, no, the, nobody, the yellow? So you know about like the, the gloves? Nope. With, so big in the EDM world is just really like any rave culture. The white gloves and they have LED lights on it and they do like light shows. So watch my hands. They, yeah. They do shit like this. Do they do it to somebody? Hell yeah. Yeah, do, they do it to people. And if you're rolling and they do it in front of your face, it's like an orgasmic. It's like the grand finale of 4th of July, but in front of your face. One on one show. Oh, so I so, would do that when I jerk off at night. So someone, but someone does it to you. You don't do it to yourself. Correct. Oh, you is that could. All, you could do that, it to yourself. Very sad. Is that why all those rave <laughs> women do that? They, they dance like that with their hands. Well, it's. I don't think you do it in a club. It's more like a festival thing you'd see. But people are very good at it. People practice at home. People go. There's. I mean, you would love this. Go just go on YouTube and type in like you know those tutorials are everywhere because people can do like synchronized shows where it's like, you know, it's like. It, they can make it look like it's a big, giant, bright world. So people are like rolling, and you're just staring, wow. chewing on gum, aka Dude, your tongue. Rave, rave women are very close to emo women. I'm in. I think a lot of them are just graduated emo women. I think there are emo women that sort of know their dad. I think, yeah. It, it, went, it went from a lot of like, so cut my wrist in. That it's close. sounds like a remix right there. Funniest thing of all, so we finally started having fun because we let loose and we're like, dude, we're the outnumbers here. Yep. We're on vacation. We're somewhere very different from where we expect. You ever do that when you're drunk on vacation? You look at a map and see how far you're away from your home? I've never done that. Really? I don't know I do the direction. Every time. And I go, where's my cat? No, you zoom out on the globe. Yeah, yeah. I, dude, I was looking at both of you guys. I was in the middle of the goddamn uh, Uber, whatever the fuck. And I was looking at both of you. Both of you guys were doing the same thing. You don't have Uber. Don't have Uber. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, it, we're so far away from home, but so we we're all getting super, super loose. We found like, you know what? Fuck it. And Jack, Jack, Jack MVP. got loose last Most night. Valuable person to be in prison. This loose. man. I mean, Jack. 
First of all, Jack has not. Jack's been with us the whole time. He has a girlfriend, so he's not doing anything in Red Light District. Same with Gabe. Shout out to the loyal boys. Um, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully, one day I find love. Hopefully, to you guys. But they've both been, you know, just kind of our wingman. And this, you don't need wingman. It's Red Light District. Anyways, you just need cash. The wingman is George Washington. Yeah. We're doing bits here. <laughs> this is comedy. But Jack tells us like three days in, he goes, dude, I haven't jerked off yet. We're like, what are you doing? Rub one out. Dude, he hasn't jerked off even prior to this vacation. To this day. Jack, how long have you gone? How long? Uh, 13 days. 13 13 days. days. Oh, we forgot about his lunch conversation. All of it. We'll put that on Patreon. Yeah, the lunch conversation cannot be on the main feed. It's wild. Jack, (laughs) Jack, I I don't know what happened. Jack in the eyes and said, I don't need therapy. I think I've figured out the world. What? Don't jerk off. No, if anything, that's killing brain cells. So you're, he, he tells us he hasn't jerked off in like 13 days, and he's in a nightclub just sweating his semen. I mean, dude, it was, I smelled pineapple, and I looked over, and he's licking his own cheek. This boy is pouring <laughs> up. And we're, we're just, as a group, we just want to talk to another group. Just be like, hey, are we- Can you see can us? We, can we be in with the, yes. the the crowd, the people? Can you see us, right? And and this And Jack is a sweet man. He knows nothing but niceness. And how to tend some rabbits. Jack goes, and a group passes. Can I say it? Yeah. Yeah. And a group passes, and I think Michael says something. I might have, like, waved something. Nothing. Jack goes, hola. (laughs) And then they don't turn. Jack hammered out of his mind. I don't know if he remembers this. Goes, hola, I said. (laughs) Bro. Bro, o- Ola, Ola, I said, Ola, I said. I mean, dude, what the fuck kind of hilarious American response is that? He said, Ola, they did not turn, and then he goes, Ola, I said, didn't turn after that. Jack was like a uh, like a white mom who want who didn't ask for pico but got pico in her tacos, and she's like, Hi, excuse me, excuse me, Ola, I, I didn't want pico. <laughs> I mean, dude, it was like. I mean, thank God they didn't turn because we would have got tequila splash in our eyeballs, but it was one of the funniest things. <laughs> also, Jack had getting lost. We kept we lost Jack like four times last night. We were just like, we had text him, where are you? We're by the teepees. And he was just like, I don't want to leave. I'm scared. Did you take something last night? You were acting real like on like off kilter a bit. But if you think about, if you flip that, the old I said, imagine that in America. I know. We're all at a bar. Four girls walk by. Hi. Nothing. I said hi! <laughs> Crazy. And then you just keep walking. I mean, it, well, the funny thing is, I mean, is he goes, hola, I, like he did Spanish and English. So if we, oh, yeah. do you know what I mean? So if we figured out how to say I said in yeah, Spanish, the same loco, thing. You know? But it is it is funny. I remember even before he said that, we were like, we started just being like saying hola to like women. Because well, the only way, but it's, but it, it then I turned to you out. and I was like, how weird is that to just walk up to somebody and be like, hi, we're so out of our element. I don't know how to talk to people. It would literally be like a person that it's not from America walking up in like LA, walking up to like a hot girl and saying, hi. What are you, a serial killer? You're going to yeah, put me in the yeah, back of your yeah, Nissan yeah, yeah. Maxima? It's a weird there's opening. There's something about it where you get kind of submerged in the culture and you kind of have this iguana effect where you like, you know, you start certain words that you remember from like sophomore year high school. You're like, oh, I think I know how to order a yeah. drink. Dude, I, I would ask him bitches where the bibliotech is hey, just to say something. Yeah. Let me read. You're cooter. <laughs> I'm hammered. But you start doing it and you start, uh, you know, you, I'm asking, I know how to ask for the bathroom. I know how to this. And I'm asking for shots of tequila and this and that. Uh, and, and and then they say a sentence after that. And I'm like, oh, I am. Like, I asked where the bathroom was and they yeah. gave me directions in Spanish. And I just had to remember her hand signs, you know? Yeah. Just a couple of these, up on the lows. Bro, you know but, how to speak you, Spanish like that? A little bit. I got nothing. Ask me how to say something. Um, How Pose. do you say, is your cooter orange? Okay, so we're going to break that down. Okay. How about I switch it and say, where's the library? All right. Donde está la biblioteca? Oh, got it. Yeah, well, here's the thing. but It's kind of like those, like, the or, or just even just like uh, when they bring you the check and you're just like, oh, I'm going to hit them with the gracias. De nada. You know who is getting the most looks out of everyone? And this is the most respectful I can ever be in my life? Gabe. Yeah. Gabe is not doing but anything I, about it, obviously, because he's a loyal, respectful man. He loves his girlfriend. But, but Gabe's Gabe got Moroccan the, vibes. Yeah, you, you know, know what it is. I think we're I think we're too loud. I think we're too loud. No, we're. Are you Are you serious? Oh, you think we're the opposite? No. Now that I think about it, the whole trip I've just been yelling, "Hey!" The entire trip. That and then we, I mean, I, we've also I just discovered, been yelling. I'm sick of it, and you've been yelling, "Hey!" 
the entire freaking trip. I'm sick of it. I am. I'm not sick. I'm sick of. You know what? I just want my phone to work, and I want some American Cooter. Is that odd to say? No, because this All is right. this is a part of the experience. You're right. But I, this, we are so out of our element that it's like once you accept that, then it's fun. But when you're over here, like I can't postmates my dunk and donuts yeah you can't but you know what we got chickens true. in the backyard dog eat some of those eggs we have chickens also bok, bok. also so, I, I fed the chickens this morning also hilarious moment last night you you guys were both like getting ready for bed or, or maybe even asleep i was downstairs with jack doing I, what i was i was sucking his dick nice. i was this man was making an omelet from the eggs that we got from the real chickens it was 5.17 in the morning. An omelet and this, I look at this motherfucker's pan. He looks at me with a really sorrowful face and goes, there's no oil. There was half a chicken stuck on the goddamn pan. I Still saw it is. in the sink this morning. Still is. This man was scraping eggs out of a pan, no oil. Those scraping five them. drunk meals are hilarious. I mean, you're I eating up, ham in a goddamn rug. I, I woke up this morning. There was an just an avocado skin well, I don't think he cooked with that. I think he piped it down. Whoa. God damn. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. You know him, you love him, BetterHelp. What is it, Michael Blaustein? Buddy, I'll tell you what it is, okay? Sometimes in life we're faced with tough choices and we the are. path forward isn't always clear. It's not. it's not, okay? Whether you're dealing with decisions around career relationships or anything else, okay? Therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life, okay? So you can move forward with confidence and excitement, dude. We are a big, big, big proponent of therapy on this podcast. I go, Trev goes. It really helps just, you know, there's a lot of fog in life, man. It helps clear up all that okay and better help can can help obviously that's why they freaking and it's their very main convenient dude they come to you you don't have to drive 45 minutes down some rickety old highway to talk to a man in an old sterile 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 building this is on your phone you do it when you want dude and if you don't like your therapist boom swipe get out of here no hard feelings find a new therapist immediately Okay, it is super easy, dude. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient. Okay, you fill out a brief questionnaire. You get matched with licensed therapists and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Exactly what Trev said. So let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Okay, visit BetterHelp.com slash socks today and get 10% off your first month. That is BetterHelp.com slash socks, 10% off your first month. Go do it. Go find happiness. We love you. BetterHelp.com. God damn. Have you come yet, Jack? You're Still? crazy. Bro, you're not going to get let through TSA with all these liquids. But That's here, crazy. Here's where this, I think the only reason why it felt like more of a little culture shock for us is because Amsterdam felt the same to us in many ways. Like, yep. if, like if, if, it felt like we were in a part of a major city, like a little Italy or a Chinatown, Word. but an Amsterdam town. Yeah. Everything still worked, fluent mm -hmm. language, uh, Postmates, Uber. It still felt like our element. Then we get here and it, it, it's like a big jump. And now we're finally settled in. We leave tomorrow. Yep. But I'm gonna be at the nightclub tonight, being fucking utsuka utsuka utsuka. I'm gonna call myself ugly, dude. I, it, I don't. I, I, it, I think you're right though. I think you just, you just embrace it. Yes. And you just start letting loose. And I think the letting loose will it's allow you like a cold plunge. You get in. You go. Me. Oh, this is uncomfortable. What's happening? And then you settle in. Your heart rate slows down. Yeah. I don't know anything about ice baths. Except Nothing. Women want us, but. You go in it, and then you, you acclimate, and then you get out, and you're like, I'm on the top of the fucking world. Yeah, and then you said, hola, I said. <laughs> That's the most American thing. Yeah. I'm surprised the DJ didn't just stop and just bow and arrow jack in the head. He still <laughs> wouldn't have come. How have you not came? You have so many opportunities. There's bathrooms. There's humidity. There's only one shower. Who cares? You can pipe down this pool right now. Put your cock right in the goddamn stream. Well, so when are you saving it for? Marriage? Well, yeah, let me, let me mic check. Do not mic this boy. No, we need it. No, I'm kidding. I think I'm going to try to go as long as possible and see what happens. What see happens? What happen? You're going to shoot a Baskin Robin. Yeah, You're going to explode on the 405. What's the longest you guys ever have gone? 11 minutes. I'm nine months in the womb. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's a good experiment. But we'll why? experiment with me. But you're like tense. You're like on edge. I, yeah, but it's, it's like, like an, interesting, edge, it's an interesting new way of living. Uh, also, the dreams are crazy. <laughs> I know what they are. They're really wet, most likely. Yeah. Hey. Dude, the funny thing is your body's going to make you come eventually. Yeah, yeah, and I'm excited to tell you guys about it. That's a great perspective content. Yeah.
Wow. So I, see I love it. Go. Jack right now thinks that this is a, a good idea, but then in his like truest moments, like when we get in the taxi last night, it gets quiet finally for a second. We're not in the club anymore. Oh, I forgot about that. And then Jack just... This motherfucker's rambling sweet nothings to himself back there. He whispers <laughs> to himself, I'm so horny. I'm so horny. It, like to himself. <laughs> he goes, like, I'm this, so horny. The same way to myself. The same way when you're at your house and you've been working on your laptop for 12 hours. And you're like, God, I'm so hungry. He, <laughs> next to me, to nobody at all, no music playing. I'm so fucking horny. I'm so <laughs> yeah, he's literally just a live Instagram robot. <laughs> like, you say things that shouldn't be said, but uh, uh, somebody from Russia is a uh, hacker at commenting. Dude, we. There <laughs> I'm so, so horny, so sexy. Big boy, come here. <laughs> there were so many times he's in, because he always rides in the front of all these uh, taxis because he's Thank the biggest. Thank God he wasn't when he said, I'm so horny. Dude, it, oh, he wasn't. Yeah, he was next to you. He but probably this, was watching the guy with a stick shift, like, do it slower. God <laughs> damn. But this dude keeps saying so just wild, wild shit. Like, the taxi driver's not. Not right there. Yeah, you're at one like, point we said something about like how annoying it is, like if somebody like uh, does a certain trait or the personality is that, and then you go, yeah, you should be able to kill like three people <laughs> a year. I'm pretty sure a driver knows the words "kill" <laughs> and "people." And he's, he's also driving us. And by the way, our our Airbnb, which if you're watching on video, you guys can see behind us, is in the cut. We so are you in the mountains. You literally, when it, when a taxi drives uh, drops us off, it looks like we fit in to murder you. We're like, oh yeah, make a right on the dirt road, and we go on the dirt road for about three minutes. And it, 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 turning on the dirt road last night he goes i'm surprised nobody's assaulted us yet <laughs> yeah. the driver's like is this a wish <laughs> that sounds like the worst flirting ever like i'm surprised nobody's hit on us yet if only somebody would assault no dude that's Come. dude that's what the line is this you walk up guy. to a woman and go how come no one's hit on me yet and just ask them wow this mic's getting hot well i don't know I mean, I'm settling in. I'm excited. The pool's gorgeous. The boat was everything. The boat was some of the best times I've had. And you know what? What? It's so funny how yesterday, at one point, about halfway through the boat, we got no hoes. And that's fine. And then we start just fine. We're like, dude, yeah, but if they were here... Like then we, you know, we couldn't be ourselves, and we'd be trying to impress. And, and like, like friendships, the reason we yeah, came on this yeah, vacation. This is, what, this is what it is. This is it. Just four guys hanging out in the yeah. water. I just feel like drinking. The biggest virgin ever. Yeah. The more just you try to no justify, is funny. Justifying no hoes, hundred percent means you rightfully do not have hoes. Yeah. Just justifying the fact that you don't have hoes is so. Walking up funny. to a girl and she says, "No, I'm not going to give your number." You walk back to your boys and go, "I didn't even want her number. I didn't want yes, her number. You did. Also, my phone's on like low battery. It's at ninety eight percent. Yeah, but like it's. I a don't get any number. service here. You have twelve G. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I I pick my head up in the middle of that conversation. But like, dude, how funny is it that all four of us found a way to justify that we have a yacht in Ibiza? Ibiza, no hoes. I mean, dude. Because had we go ahead. There's yacht. Printed on the back of the yacht. I shaved it in the back of my head. Come here! It's so funny because if we did have all those women, we'd be like, man, yesterday was a fucking movie. Should have shot a music video, live podcast recording. But then it's just dudes and we're like, you know, this is good for the soul. This is better. I'm going to be honest. Friendship is the best way to come. This is the this is the best way it happened. This is the funniest most exactly. enjoyable, most entertaining way this could happen. Because if we came on here and we're like, dude, we couldn't, there were so many women on the boat, we, we had to give people life preservers because we felt like we were scared yeah. they were going to fall off. Well, also, that's why I rapper was fucking the boat captain. <laughs> Are you the captain now? No, I'm the captain now. Give me your cock. Make your cock talk like a goddamn puppet. I miss my dog. Captain. Gigi. You want me to keep on? No, I, I think you're good. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But uh, I do think it's, to your point, it wouldn't have been fun if we hopped on here. We're like, yeah, man, we had 12 girls. We were getting sucked while doing gainer flips. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why rapper interviews aren't, it, it's just sounds, you're like, oh, cool, man. You have sex and smoke weed. Yep. Sick, dude. Awesome. What are you on the JV football team? I don't give a fuck. Also, every rapper that says they do that consistently, lies. <laughs> no, lies. Had we got on here right now and been like, dude, a visa too easy. Too many women. Everybody at home would be like, I'm bored. It's so much funnier. So much funnier. The, the, when you pull the scope out on this vacation. Yep. Because what are we going to sum this vacation down to in a couple of years when we're thinking about it? In the back, Amsterdam, Red Light District, here's money. Abisa, we're invisible. You know Jack so, still hasn't came. You know what's so funny is in Abisa, we sort of kind of in some abstract way with the yacht, we're trying to be like, here's money. And all the Abisa hoes were like, don't care. At one point, you guys were judging guys flipping off their boats. Yeah, oh, I mean, we that's lonely, that's where dude. that's how bad it got. <laughs> dude, about, a wave hit me on my shoulder, and I was like, "Hold up, what's your name?" <laughs> how about Damn. the girls on the boat that you can pay for? 
Oh, oh no, they, those were massages. Massage. Those were massage shots. Oh, they were massage. They also had a dude uh, in a little pontoon boat whipping around some mojitos. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I will say my Jewishness kicked in a hella fast. He goes, one. He, I go, how much for one? He goes, 20 euros, which is essentially $20. Sir, yeah, but there's no fucking Cabo Cantina out here. We're in the Sir? middle of the ocean. He's navigating the high seas. This is motherfucker on a rowboat. It no. was so good though. It, <laughs> no, was, it, it was, was like a so melatonin good. dream. And then a man with dreads is gonna pull up and give me a mojito. And he except ma- it's not yeah. male dreads. It's a hot shot. And she goes, "I'm all out of mojitos. Can I give you something else?" Takes off her eye patch. Do you guys remember? Me. You guys remember there was an entire boat of ladies, and not one of them cared. Dog, we struck out. I would say Massively. seventy times. Yeah, it wasn't like a it thing. wasn't a rowboat with three women in it. It was a, a, a I don't think you guys are really dude, it was a Congo it. line it was, of hose, dude. It was like an eighty foot boat or eighty meter boat, whatever the hell. And no woman was like, you know what? Wow, I know the guy from YouTube Shorts. No one. Funny. Yeah, all of us are gonna be uh, on the flight back, just listening to motivational men's podcast. Focus on yourself, kings. Don't chase women. Chase the bag. You know what's that's so, a crazy thing. That is crazy. It, Can it's you guys a, hear that in the background? There's like cicadas back there. This is beautiful. You know what I did last night? I obviously jerked off. But did you? Oh my god! <laughs> but, At five a.m. Dude, six a.m. Holy shit! So the funny thing is, I took two hits of the vape pen and took that sleeping pill, and I was like, "Bro, I got to get this out before the sleeping pill kicks in." Yeah. <laughs> but the problem is, is the goddamn Wi-Fi. Because the, the walls are so thick, the Wi-Fi doesn't reach my oh, fucking yeah. room all the way. So I was I slid the bed towards the door. <laughs> You're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> because because towards the door, I got a little bit of Wi-Fi. Don't give this freaking ideas. <laughs> and and my bed was, the corner of the bed was Jack, almost- Jack, let me get a tequila shot. Yes, sir. The corner, hilarious. That That's hot. I'd fuck Jack with that. Yes, sir. The corner of the bed was literally almost touching the front door, or the front door, touching the, the bedroom door. And I, I Pornhub doesn't work here. It works what? a little bit. It doesn't work great. So I had I was using X because X or what is it? No, N X X whatever the hell that loads. Fa- I'm getting crushed by mosquitoes. Those are that that uh that loads faster. So I was using that, and then that for some reason Didn't stopped I working. Out here, and then maybe wait, hold on, hold on. All right, you know how Jack's on edge because he doesn't came. Uh huh. Maybe that's why everybody's on edge out here. Ain't nobody fapping. Ain't nobody getting a nut off. Think, think about that. America. We're the horniest place in the world. We nut constantly. Do you think we're the horniest place in the world? I don't think so. Ah. I think like probably Germany's horny. I think Germany might be the horn. That's actually I, a good question. I don't know. Who do you think the horniest country is? I mean, per capita. Uh oh, using it again. Damn. Um. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. I would. I mean, America is definitely in the top five because our whole yeah, like well, culture is about well, sex. Well, it's also that, but I think it's like we go above and beyond. We don't only just have Pornhub.com. We have like VR. We got, but I think that's cr- cr- like where was the f- the f- the auto blow invented? Horniest place ever. Yeah, the first person be like, oh, anal beads, those are things. That We need to talk to that person. Do you know how many people find anal beads and have no idea what it is? Yeah, they're like, oh, a nerd's rope. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do if you walk in the room and Gigi's chewing on an anal bead? I would be like, where the hell did you get those from? There's many dog treat, treats, dog toys that look like anal beads. Yeah, for sure. I could. I mean, I could use two or three GD toys, shove it in a woman's butthole, no problem. That would be a fun part to have a vagina. and How creative you can get. Oh my god, thank you, Jack. I've never drank so much yeah, in, is... in about eight nine years. I th- well, I don't know what it was. The first few nights, no hangovers. Yeah, what was that? No hang. No, not, not even hangovers. But I felt I was wake even up drunk. great. Yeah, but I felt like a nice mild buzz this morning. Not great. I felt fine this morning, dude. Those sleeping pills that you're, that, I don't know where you got them from. Holy Toledo. They're magical. God damn. Ladies and gents, a little while ago, we had the idea to start selling merch, and we had no idea where to get started, dude. That's why we are so glad that we found Shopify. Shopify. Whoa. Whoa. That's my favorite sound. I love it. That's the sound of a freaking sale. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide, whether you're a garage entrepreneur, hey, they also in a garage for some reason, or IPO ready. Shopify is the only tool you need to start, run, and grow your business without the struggle. And I guarantee it. Shopify is fantastic. I use it for my own merge, yep. use it for Sif Sox merge. The interface is incredible. And it aligns with some of the biggest uh, sites. We're talking eBay, TikTok, all that stuff. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. Dude, that is so many freaking stores. And Shopify is truly a global force. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way. That is true. So, sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash socks. 
all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash socks and take your business to the next level today, okay? Shopify.com slash socks. God damn. Um, Back from our pool break. Got in the pool. So Scott. hot. Ugh. But I'm excited to not drink like this for a while. But, oh it, but this is what it was. It was vacation. You know, I was like, it's going to be seven days of just not worrying about work. We've still been uploading. Hilarious. Anyways, but. Yeah, I th- we were all working for three hours but, editing this morning. <laughs> but the amount of Fridays. I know, hilarious. The amount of Fridays <laughs> and Saturdays we take off for shows to not go out and not do that. And like, yeah. so to put seven days together, it seems like a lot at once. Some might even call it a bender. Definite bender. Maybe. But it's like, that's, we, we never do this. We never do this. I don't think we're, I mean, I don't want to say that we're never going to do this again. But like, it, it's it's hard to carve out this much time for for not work as as we're fucking working. But I'm just, I'm really, really grateful and not to get super uh, teary-eyed, but I'm just grateful to be here with you guys. I'm, I'm grateful to like have this time to be here with you guys with like in a beautiful fucking Ibiza, beautiful fucking Amsterdam. It's just been, dude, it's been so, it's been so fun. It's dude. exactly what we needed because it like, if you just go down to San Diego for the weekend, it's, it's really no different. It's just like a, oh, this is a bar we haven't been to, but the, it's just the name is different. It's a, people are slightly different, but this is like very different. Walking around Amsterdam, everything, just everything about it. Just, I loved Amsterdam. Amsterdam was very wholesome and cute. And there was like a bunch of places when we were leaving that I drove past. I was like, oh, fuck, we didn't go there. We didn't get to go there. Yeah. I could have done way more time there. I definitely would want to do more time here because we didn't even get to see that many of like the local beaches. We wanted to just lay down. Uh, we didn't see any local beaches, but we saw some local. Ted, say it. Hey. But, I mean, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm every excited, girl I'm excited for tonight. Yeah. What the hell? I'm excited. I, I just, I want to re say this. Guys, I used to hate EDM, EDM music. I went in there and I was like, bro, I freaking like it, I think. Dude, I'll put you on. On. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Hey, Cheers. To Stiff Socks. Stiff Socks Podcast. Gabe, Jack, thank you for all your work. Cheers. Cheers. That, <coughs> that was too big. That was too big. <coughs> oh, my God. That was too big. What is it about taking a shot of alcohol that makes your nipples hard? <coughs> my nipples don't get hard. What? Hold on. Oh, I'm lying. Literally hard. <laughs> Dude, you never I, had that where you like give the shakes and your nips are like, ooh. I think when I take a shot, that, that moment right after is the face I have when I come. That's not a good face. <clears throat> no, there's no way. I want to record my face one time. I don't think you do. Really? I'll do it I want for to do you. like a POV. No, we'll reverse that. What is that? Fucking when I'm when I'm looking at myself. That's not even a Is that a Hold <laughs> up. That's sad. That's what that is. But is that a thing a on P- a point, point of view? That is still POV. No, but POV is like looking down it's at the WPOV, girl. WPOV. Woman point of view. Word. WPOV. So next time I'm getting throated, I don't know. Oh, also What is that? Honestly, I'm going to be on real with you guys. I, I've been setting up uh, hang sessions. What do you mean by that? Google hang? Yes. What are y'all doing? Talking Sex. about Q1? Buddy. Setting Inventory. up hang sessions. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, you know, just setting up dates, whatever. Because, you know, hey, I'm, oh, shit. Abiza, Abiza, you know, made my ego get onto a, a negative 18. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. Uh, you know, so we're setting up a few few dates, few hang sessions. And I'm hey. just, I am, I, it, it's odd that I'm like, dude, I feel like the first girl that I hang out with, I'm going to be like, cool. I love you. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what we were saying. I'm like first... emotionally built up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoever the next lady you hook up with or even the next lady I, uh, you know. Unter gasolina. <laughs> exactly. That's sex and You're about Ibiza. to get love and affection. I'm building up. The way Jack's building up, not, I'm building up love and affection. I want to give it to the, these nice ladies of the island. I want to be like, Ibiza ladies, you can have all my love. And Sam ladies, you can have all my love and money. But I have so <laughs> much love to give. Dude. I'm... I'm gonna I'm gonna hook up with some lady in America the first time. I'm gonna write her a fucking poem. She's like, "What are you doing? Made, making a grocery list? No, yeah. I love you. That's, look I'm gonna at this. write her a haiku poem out of lavender. Pebbles. I'm gonna look at her and be like, "What rhymes with roses? Hoses? Yep. <laughs> I, it, I mean, man, if anybody's at home, just type in like women of Ibiza. It is unreal. It, it's like there's, but I will say this: they're so hot. I get it. Like, me the, too. I, Why the fuck I'm would you in? look at me? Yeah, I don't, dude, bro." It, Dude's out. Fuck. Yeah. Sick of it. I am sick of it. Here's the thing. Dude, there are freaking, there are dudes out here that literally own countries. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, they're like, yeah. oh, you're a cute YouTube boy. Yeah. What the fuck are you I talking about? I have a blue about? dot next to my Instagram name. My GDP is shut the fuck up. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. Honestly, I'm not I'm sick si- of it. Wait. You know what? I needed it. Wait, hold on. What? Let me see something. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty. Are you kind of warm? Uh, yeah. I think you might be sick, sick of it. it! <laughs> Sick of it. 
But but here's the thing, right? What? Tell me. We put ourselves out of our element. And that's something I always can find the positive and the negative. There was no really negative besides mm. we had no hoes, which is hilarious. It's funny. It's funny. And I'm glad that it happened. The thing is, we. this is what I would like to say real quick. We deserve no hoes. Good. And I'm not joking. I'm not even trying to shit on us. We deserve no hoes. A dude that looks like Dana White owns fucking all carousels in Eastern European. Yeah. And you think we get hoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. TikTok? Shut the fuck up. Here's a Glock. <laughs> Worst Glock sound ever. <laughs> so, to get back to it, I mean, it's just good. But it is just, uh, I don't know. I, I, The fun thing about, well, the interesting thing, I think, is when you feel invisible, you just hit this point where you just start looking. Like, there yep. was one lady I made eye contact with probably like 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there is was that a, weird? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weird. It's pretty sad too. <laughs> no, the girl at the sushi place with a white dress. Oh yeah, validate me. Oh, she was but one she of the was hottest just people in I've ever my seen line life. of sight, which happened to be like three hundred yards away. <laughs> but she was just in my no. But but you know but you see something very attractive. You're just like your your brain just like mag, like levitates towards it. I will say. They were waiting for a taxi, and we got dinner. We got finished dinner at the same time. They were oh, waiting yeah. for a taxi, and Gabe, fucking hero, started talking to him. They were the nicest people so nice. in the world. But I was so used to Ibiza women not even looking. I didn't even talk because I was like ready for them to be mean. They were the nicest. Yeah, maybe people. all we have to say is just maybe not. I said hola. Well, hola, I said. I don't know how else to say it. Well, I don't know. So you got some hangouts coming up. What? 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 what, what was oh, it? Oh, oh, overall favorite moments of the trip. I loved the boat yesterday. That was just fun in general. And that was just that felt the most vacationy. That, I loved yeah. uh, the canals uh, in Amsterdam, and I loved our dinner last night. Shout out Juntos House, J U N T O S yeah. Juntos House, phenomenal if you ever hear. So good, so Dude, good. We got uh, lamb shoulder, lamb shoulder, bitch, bitch. Those are big shoulders. What is it, Michael Blaustein? Oh, hey. is that a compliment? Yes, I, I'm not trying to be mean. No, big shoulders the is fine. Best, oh, that was so good. And then I think I just I, I liked um the dinners we had. I love the dinners we had. You know what's weird Duh. is one one of one of my favorite moments is when all the boys are just dying laughing. Oh, of like course. Like when when Jack hit him with the with the fucking Ola. I said we were in Ibiza at a, like a, at a super club. Yeah, I, I mean all the. I think it's it's just doing this in a group. It's like when you travel alone, you have all these funny things happening. You don't know who to tell. But when you're with a group in general of like traveling, you have so many new new experiences that come to you that are just so funny that you want to share with other people. Yeah. I mean that uh, the last dinner in Amsterdam was really funny. That the uh, the place that was like no hats. Why why can't I wear a hat? No in hats. Steak house. Insane. That man has an ankle monitor, but I can't wear this blue hat. Oh, we never even talked about it. The server that we had at that last restaurant in Amsterdam, he was hot, and no one talked about it. Oh, I love him. He was. All right. he was I what? Would, I would have beat. Thank you. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. He, he he had a vegany vibe to him, but he was hot. Yeah. He also brought me, he was the first person to, instead of just bringing me seasonal vegetables, he brought me like potatoes and I was so grateful. I would have done anything for him. Yeah, I mean, dude, Gabe has been bombing with food because he can't dude, eat anything. Dude, Gabe's been back on his heroin tweaker shit, not actually, but like for vegan food. My Bro, man took a 22 minute tax yeah. this morning for vegan food. Yeah. That's, I walked that's down, cokehead activities. Dude, I walked downstairs, I was like, Gabe, what are you doing? He was scratching, he was like, I'll suck a Bro, dick for a burrito and just left. <laughs> on the boat yesterday, the boat's doing like 30 knots. I don't know what that is, they kept saying it. But my man is chopping bell peppers in the back. This is literally crazy. Crackhead activities. Yeah. If one of your friends was like, dude, where are you? It's Sunday morning. I took a taxi in a town. For what? Cock? No, zucchini. He Same was- Same shape. Especially mine. Japanese zucchini. Small. Don't Google those. <laughs> Don't Google- what are you laughing at? <laughs> How have you not camera ready? Anyways, uh, I think that's what it is. Yep. It's the experiencing new stuff with your friends. Dude, this was- This was- This I mean, was such a memorable alone. vacation. Yeah. And you oh, know yeah. what's hilarious is my dad texted me this morning- did you fuck any British, not British, did you fuck any Spanish horse is what he literally texted me verbatim. Verbatim? Verbatim. What this guy don't hell? give a heck. He didn't give a heck before he was hard. Now he don't give a frick heck. Yeah. You kidding me? Just in Boca, far enough Texas, he don't give a shit. He hasn't looked at another woman in 12 years. Lying. Dude, he has scheduled jerk off hours. He does, 3 p.m. <laughs> if I ever call him or text him during 3 p.m., he ain't responding. He's going to nut off. And he always tells me, he goes, man, you're going to you're gonna hit a time in your life, man. He's like, you come a lot now. He's going to hit a time where it comes out just like a fucking lava lamp. Lava lamp is just so It just sad. oozes out the top, he says. What Might the hell? Might want checked out. Huh? What? No, this just happens, dude. When you get really? 65, 70, yeah. You lose your, your velocity? Your prostate just gets enlarged. Is it like a helium balloon after like a week after the party? It's yep. just like slowly? Yeah. Like it still works, but barely? Yeah. Dude, you and your dad are so much the same person. It's crazy. It's insane. That's how I know we're definitely related. 
But there's also part of me that thinks that my mom fucked one dude and uh, made me and my brother. And uh, the because we have different dads. And yeah, your dad's looking. like an equity like shareholder in the company. Yeah, the company's you. He's not one hundred percent custody, but he's got he's got a good equity. Silly Goose Productions. What's good? LLC. Sick of it. Sick of it. Well, I mean, I'm excited to go back home, obviously. But in two days, I'm gonna be like at my computer editing. I'm gonna be like, fuck. I, I wish I'd buy a pool. I wish I'd buy. Uh, I, I I think that's what it is. It's just the freedom. It's like usually we can uh, we'll be like, oh, let's go to dinner. Oh, but I have a show after. Oh, let's go to this. But I got I'm filming in the morning. Yeah. So to have just no plans but this is just nice to not think about like, can I get a drink and enjoy it, or can I get a drink? Ah, oh, fuck. I have a show in an hour. Well, that dude, great that, problems to have. Yeah, but. that's also so nice. It's like the with the drinking and hanging out, there is there is no obligation afterwards. So you can just kind of cut Correct. loose. I mean, dude, we just took a fucking shot, and I not I've never one this part yet. of me. No, I want college, part of me. Trevor, for sure, for sure. I would um, butt chug some Pinot. I will say, dude, is like fuck you, laughing. <laughs> we're all. I will say though, we're all like really good friends, man. We don't. We hang out like very. We we have spurts of very hanging out, yeah. but we but it's like on some business shit, and then maybe we'll have like a dinner every, every now and again. But we all love each other, and we don't hang out like this. I'm so yeah, fucking. There's no argument. It's a very easy group to get along with. Yeah, Especially except when Jack gets no all hoes. horned up. Sad. <laughs> what? What'd you say? Nothing. All right. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, who chew? None other than Blue Chew. What is it, buddy? It is a chewable tablet with the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, okay? But you don't got to go to freaking Rite Aid or CVS and be like, hey, my dick doesn't work. No, it goes straight to your door, ships straight to your door in discreet packaging. It is incredible. And a lot of people on this show right now, they're like, hey, man, I'm young. My penis works. Yeah, I got good stamina. Do you? Do you? For that round two, though, do you? I could have used this in Amsterdam. Frick. Yeah. I coulda. I wish I had it. But so, I mean, you're telling me it's a chewable tablet with the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis? That's exactly what I'm telling you, okay? Does you're it telling work? me that it also gets sent to your door in a discreet package? That's exactly what And I don't have I'm to saying. go to damn CVS and talk to a pharmacist whose eyeball is falling out of his head? <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you something, dude. They say there's nothing sexier than confidence, okay? And Blue I'll Chew say that. can help you give confidence yeah. where it counts. If you're bricked up in a CVS, you are the most confident man. Dude, let me tell you something. Every single politician that wins, rock hard. Okay, so Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Dude, discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Okay, try Blue Chew free. How much money is that? That is absolutely free when you use promo code SOCKS at checkout. You just pay $5 for shipping. All right, $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring... This podcast. God damn. Um, anyways, wow. should we... Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the Ibiza podcast, probably not as wild as... Oh, we also did Shrooms in Amsterdam, and that full episode is on the Patreon. We'll put some clips out of it. Uh, it we're in a park. We thought we'd be in nature. This place would have been the place to do Shrooms. Secluded? Secluded? Secluded. Secluded? I got you. Oh, for three. Secluded pool. Vibes are great. There, we were literally in a park, and if you look at one of the videos, you or me, I forget, one of us is rolling around in cigarette butts. Oh, it's Michael, yeah. <laughs> it's a little, the number one comment. Motherfuckers rolling around in cigarette butts. <laughs> it's the <laughs> only butt we got we didn't pay for. Funny! I should just dive in the pool right now. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will say, dude, when you're seeing God, you don't give a shit about Salem lights. That's true. I feel like I'm seeing God right now. This is God's country. Are Ibiza, you looking at me? Ibiza. I'm God. God? What's God up? God backwards is dog. Gigi. Captain America. Well, I'm excited to hear about your, uh, quote unquote, hangouts back in Los Angeles. Dude, some I might girl, have to have a hangout dude, back in Los Angeles. Where's my phone? Some girl texts me the funniest thing. Oh, it's in term. your shoe over off oh, frame. I, I got it. I got it. Dude, some girl texts me the funniest thing for fucking. She texts me. She goes, hey, let me know when you want to get lazy. What? Hot! But, but, but how is that hot? I don't know. Wait, but, but I am confused. Like what? Get lazy? Yeah, just me. What are y'all going to take? Tylenol PM and lay on the couch? Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I miss that in my Yeah, life. of course. Getting fucking spoon when I'm melatonin. Dude, I, I don't know. I just thought, I've never heard that term before. And I was like, lazy? yeah. Well, what's funny is in the guy brain, you make anything horny. She's like, let me know when you want to uh, cook it up again. You're like, hey, yeah. call me Gordon Ramsay because I'm time to make an idiot sandwich. That's what I'm saying. Let me know when you want to play the harmonica again. I Good. Do. All right, well. 
I'm well, excited. That's nice. I'm excited I, to be back home, reunited with my cat. But also, this has just been nice to have <sighs> no time. You know, it's like every time my brain went to go work, I'd be like, "It's three in the morning, Los Angeles time. Shut the fuck up." Yeah, dude. You know Who's what? I'm going to answer his email. You know what I'm not looking forward to? The time difference getting used to again. Oh, that I'm going to have a fucking up. show at 9 p.m. and it's going to be 14 in the morning. I'm going to be so tired, like yeah. in my head. But it's a cool reason to be jet lagged. Being jet lagged is the douchiest thing in the world, always. But it's true. You're like, sorry, man. I'm so tired. I just got back from Ibiza. Ibiza. And they're like, oh, dude, it was crazy. You probably had so many hoes out there. Yeah, dude, so many. Cut the cameras. None. Zero. Good. I don't need them. They need well, me. That's a lie. I'm gaslighting myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gaslighting my own penis. Isn't that funny? Yes. My dick's like, I want a woman. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know what you want? A book in Jesus. The Dude, Bible. I'm a. I need. I. I think I need to get back into religion. I yeah. don't feel. I don't like. Well, I, I feel pretty maybe zen you get right lazy, now. Lazy quote with Jesus. I would. I want to. Did I tell you the time when I was like walking in uh, in Harlem and I felt just so down? I was like depressed. I just nothing was working, and I literally just walked into a Catholic church and I just said prayers. I haven't been in like at that moment. I hadn't been in a fucking Catholic church in I like love seven eight years. I just like. You know what's funny is I told my roommate at the time the same thing, and I thought he was gonna make fun of me. He said the exact same thing. He's like, "Man, I love that." Well, because what you you didn't even question your body; just told you to go there. It did. did. I just walked past the church and it was like, it, "If you if it felt like force and like somebody's telling you to go there, then yeah, like, whatever." But like the fact that you did that, your body was telling you something, and um, I mean, you gave it a shot. You you did it. And yeah, you probably felt better. I need to go in there and get some Ave Marias, dude. I need to like I need Ooh. a priest, huh? Ave Marias. It's just a song, a, cool. a Christian song. But I need to go in there and just I need to go and just like have someone. Of of the Lord say, man, yeah. you're okay, bro. No, Just keep course. going forward. And what's funny is uh, we go back and we're going to hang out. We're going to get back on schedule. And then in like uh, three weeks, I'm going to Miami for a week. So back out the window. And if I go to Miami and nobody what? looks at me. That's crazy. Problem. I'm moving to Provo, Utah. <laughs> I'll move there. All right. You guys want to get into some sock talk? Let's do it. All right. We got a question here from Sean. And Sean says, I'm a 22-year-old virgin. What should I do with my life? Jack seems to be doing all right. Follow his rules. <laughs> Twenty-two-year-old virgin. I don't think you need to worry about that, man. Yeah. I, I I think the hard part is that's on your forefront, and it feels like the most uh, noticeable thing in the room. It's not. It feels like you need to go on a date and immediately tell her. Um, I think when you find the right girl, she'll be pretty happy about that. Honestly, I think you also need to sit with yourself and figure out why, like, what the purpose of you doing that is. Like, is if it, if it's some religious stuff that that's super respectful. If it's some like I just need to find the love of my life before I give it up, super respectful. But if it's just like a, I'm kind of like cloaked in fear because like it's been a big thing in my life and now I now I can't like kind of execute it on it. Honestly, bro, don't be fearful. It's it's literally just P and the V and everyone. Dude, I, I, uh, and a freaking prostitute in Amsterdam sat on me. I came in one minute. You know what I mean? Sometimes you fuck up yeah, and sometimes you don't. You it's, know, the, it's, just it's not. Play it, it by ear. And if that ear ain't working, there's a small little airport titled AMS. Flying to that bitch with $200, you won't be a virgin no more. Yeah. I think, I think, uh, I don't think there should be a plan here. And I don't think you should put a, a ton of pressure on yourself. Um, I don't think. It, I don't want to. I don't want to sound like frivolous with this comment, but I don't think losing your virginity is that. Uh, is that va- I don't say that valuable, but I think because it's such a, a thing in your life, you put so much pressure on yourself, and I don't. I don't think it should be that heavy. I don't think it's such a, such a heavy thing. Correct. Well, I think yeah. it. I think it matters until you do it, and then it's like, oh, that didn't. Like you know what I mean? Like. Afterwards, once you like are a couple years past it, it's like, oh yeah. Well, it just keeps yeah. building up. It's like it's like if you're gonna jump uh, off a rock into a lake, the longer you sit up there and wait, the more your anxiety you get. Versus if you just do it, you don't. I, I don't know if this really makes sense, but tequila's kicking in. But I think. The longer he's like sitting on it, the more this is like building up in his head, and it's like this like he thinks it's such a big thing in his head. When meanwhile, a girl on a date, it's like, oh yeah, that's fine. And then he's like, oh really? He's like, yeah. But the, the longer he sits in it, it might get more in his head. But you don't need to be like it'll like dude, it'll happen. It'll happen. I know yeah. plenty of people who got married, and the first person that the guy or the girl slept with was the person they're marrying. Yeah, they're out there. Yeah, you know. And as a measure of solitude, Jack won't come until you do. <laughs> and that's my promise to you. Solidarity. <laughs> What's good? Um. All right. Cool. Secret sock. Anonymous submission. Frick yeah. Sick of it. That's this what I'm says, saying. Uh, oh, this guy's sick of it too. He says. My ex-girlfriend cheated on me with my half-brother. She said that his 
Whoa, uh, whoa. I'm, thing- I'm so sorry. I'm already lost, dude. Can you start from the top? Yeah, sorry. I'm leaning back. You probably can't even hear me. I'm talking to the mic. All right. So, Secret Dog, anonymous submission. Yes, sir. Uh, this guy says, my ex-girlfriend cheated on me with my half-brother. She says, his dick is bigger, but I do it better. Huh? I'm um, lost. Who does right. what? So, essentially, I have a half-brother, so I can work you through it. So, essentially, um, me and my half-brother um, had uh, fornications with the same woman. Yeah. And then that woman oh, is saying, both. I I do it better, but my half-brother has a bigger penis. I'm great with that. Me too, dude. Great with that. Dude, I remember yelling at some dude in fucking high school, this massive guy I used to play basketball with. He was 6'5". He was yelling at me. He's like, you have a small penis, but he never got hosed. And I was like, hey, man. My thing might be small news, but at least I use it. That was yeah, but, us on the boat yesterday. One hundred percent. Remember, like, just can you imagine walking around with a big, thick cock and never using it? <laughs> Sad. Well, I mean, it's like literally having like a stick shift H two Hummer, and you don't know how to use it. Sure, you get a lot of people to look, but once you got to put it in drive, it ain't leaving. Yeah, you ever wanted to? Out of gas. Hey, you ever wanted to? Go ahead. You say you got a Vespa, but you know how to get in and out of all the crevices. Correct. You ever give me traffic? Woom, woom, woom. Yeah. H2 Hummer with traffic, you're fucked. Yeah. Yep. So I think the takeaway there, I mean, honestly, both people are winners. One guy's packing, one guy knows how to fuck. Put them together, Johnny sends. Yeah, you put them together like Power Rangers, boom. Well, it's your half-brother. Don't put them together, but you know what I mean. <laughs> well, half-brother. Nope. All right. Bro- blood related, sir. <laughs> Had the same moms. Oh, oh, two episodes ago, you're boasting about incest, but that's where you call the line? <laughs> Dude, I, I will say this again. Incest should not be illegal. <laughs> It's it shouldn't be done, but it shouldn't be illegal. I love how the, it's I, my dick. I will shove it in my sister. I wonder why we don't you get hoes in a visa. To. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder hoes can just smell the how incest. Can, on how you. can you not get on board with this? It's my penis. This is well. I was gonna say this is America. It's not, but it's my penis. Okay. I don't. I it's uh, you. Right, right, I right, 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 right. I, listen. It you shouldn't want to bang your sister, okay, but, but it shouldn't be illegal. Out, That's out, insane. Okay, I hear you. Go ahead. But there's so many options out there. What if you love your sister? Then write her a fucking poem. I don't want to write a poem. I want to <laughs> be in the fucking den when my grandma watches. <laughs> don't bring grandma into this. Grandma, Gram, come Gram. here. Yeah. Michael, Michael, where are you? No. Was, um, yeah, it just feels like there's a whole table of food and your brother was just slobbing on some ribs and you go, hey, can I finish that? But then a guy across the table goes, I haven't even touched mine. I haven't even touched my ribs and we're not related. And you go, I don't want your ribs. I want those ribs. That's how human beings work though. Who? The only girl that you want is the one who don't want you. It's like, the, and the only girl that you want in this scenario Abisa. is is the what the government saying you can't have it. Oh, right? Oh, really? Biden? Watch me pipe my fucking sister down. All right. We can't, don't clip that piece. That would be crazy. <laughs> no, definitely clip that piece. <laughs> Incest in Ibiza. Clip it. Um. Anyways. Uh, Incest but- in yourself. <laughs> Um, Man, this breeze is like it's uh, hitting us at the right time. It, it feels everything feels right, you know. This this, this episode feels, is coming to an end. Yeah. I, I I just feel I feel very happy to be able to take a break, and a lot of it is from the people who listen to this podcast who support. Yeah, whether Thank it's you uh, just listen weekly, or they subscribe to Patreon, Apple Plus, uh, or have ever been to a show of mine or Michael's or uh, Jax's sex show in a basement. <laughs> Whatever you've done to support us. <laughs> This goes, not even trying to be on some fucking Grammy speech, but uh, thank you. Yeah. You know? this, 100%. The, the reason you can do uh, vacations and try content and try new things uh, is because of you guys. And I think it's all fun. You know? As and, much and- as I love yelling in the valley about how hot it is and why our AC doesn't work, <laughs> it's fun to change up the pace. And I think everybody does that to break it up a little bit. I will say, though, like they, they allow us to do it because of their support, but also like it's cool to... I think doing something for the people who listen and watch, it was also a catalyst for us to do this. Like do something different so they have something different to listen to. That's what I'm saying. So you got to add, yeah, yeah. you got to change it up a little bit or else it just gets redundant. Right. Oh, redundant. Great word. Spell it. I don't know how to spell it. Never. But I think that's what it is. And uh, maybe next summer we will go to, I don't know, get a globe, spin it. We'll see. We'll oh, see by the way, the I will time. say uh, on Patreon, we did like a, a what is it called a, a, on on the fucking Boat internet? Tour? No, we did like a oh, Zurich. Oh yeah. What is it called? City we, selector. Yeah, we picked a random Who's city in the that? world, and uh, it and, landed on Zurich, Switzerland. And guess what? Tomorrow. Yep. Our connecting flight, two and a half hours, Zurich Airport. We're banging at a Zurich pod. We're gonna set up a podcast in front of an Auntie Anne's, 
and you thought we got weird looks in a bees off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until you see four guys. One of them hasn't came since the housing crisis. <laughs> four guys can be setting up, and we'll put that on Patreon because we did that for Patreon and for the regular <clears throat> episodes too. Uh, we've been saying we're going to Zurich forever, and now we're finally going. So within a week, Amsterdam, Ibiza, and Zurich. Oh, can I Love. say one more thing? The only thing that we did not touch on is the fact that apparently now Michael and Jack are going to have a, a one-on-one competitive basketball game. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Let those losers have it. I could dunk on both you idiots. Yeah. And you don't need to prove it. I believe you. Well, Jack also said he went D1 last night, and then he's like, well, what, what did you say? You know, no, let me No, let me bring this back. It was the funniest fucking interaction ever. <laughs> he goes, I got a D1 offer. I go to where? Bold he statement goes, to he say. Goes, yeah, it's crazy. He goes, St. <laughs> Joseph's, which... I know about basketball. St. Joseph's <laughs> is a go. wildly Even high I know that. D1, D1 offer. And I go, hold on. You got offered D1? That's crazy, dude. You must be so good. He goes, I mean, I didn't get offered. Like, <laughs> he told me I was going to ride the bench. And I go, no, they don't. They don't tell you you're going to ride the bench. It's yeah, a walk-on. Yeah. You're a walk on. <laughs> Which, even if you walked on to St. Joseph's, that's still really, really fucking good. But I was like, you really, like, pulled it back a lot. Yeah. I got offered crazy. Club team. Oh, dude, dude I want to beat your that. ass. The All right, club team. Here's what the thing. Where do you, where's you guys, where do you guys play? 2K? Where is it? Oh, my God, dude. It's funny. Every time we mention this, he brings it back one notch. I'm going to beat this guy's fucking ass in basketball, dude, and I can't wait. Do not guard him too close. He will come. Good. That's part of the goddamn process. Speaking of process, that's it. Guys. What's up? That's a process. That's a process. Thank you so much, man. We really Thank appreciate you guys. Thank you for the Pod. We're back in the studio next week. Yeah. For regular program content. Who knows? Maybe we'll record on the side of like the 4 or 5 or something fun. Oh, are you taking a shirt off around? I'm going to the pool, Poppy. Oh, shit. Come All on, right. Man. Jack's going to come. Where are my feet? All right, guys. Thank you, man. Peace. Hi. Love. He's getting in. And wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh. All right. Well. Cameras are done. Guys, peace. Love you. Uh, Till next week. Bye.